It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. So what is going on everybody? It's your favorite ninja, Sets BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, and I'm super hyped to be bringing you this brand new zombies video. In this video, I bring you Zombie Slaying Ninjas, the ultimate guide to the brand new Black Ops 4 Zombies DLC Alpha Omega main easter egg. If you're here, that only means one thing. The bigger guys got something wrong in their guides, and now you're scouting the internet looking for a correct guide. And you found the right place. So, now I'm going to keep it short and sweet, but this guide, I make one promise. Every step I cover will be correct and easy to follow and help you beat the easter egg easily and efficiently. So drop a like on the video if it helps you out in any way. And sub to the channel if you're new for more correct guides in the future. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Now, I don't know how long any of you have been playing Zombies for, but by now everyone should know the first step in any easter egg is open the map and turn on power, which is located on the opposite side of the map from where you spawn in. Okay, cool. Once you got that done, it's time for the whole team to head downstairs to the bunker and make your way to the generator area by buying the 1750 door located in the beds area to access the generator room and start the lockdown. The lockdown will only begin if all players are in the room. Once the lockdown starts, there'll be zombies spawning in, some crawlers spawning in, which will last for about one minute. You can either kill them or train them up. Just wait out the timer. It's up to you. After the lockdown is finished, you'll now have access to more areas in the bunker, which are solitary and storage. Now what you want to do is go back upstairs and repair the four ventilation systems, which are disabled. You'll notice the four houses which have the green smoke around them. Go up to the valve and hold the action button until the meter goes from red to green. Quick side note, and try not to go down like me and forget there's a horde of zombies trying to stop you. After repairing all the systems, the pack punch will now be open. If you don't have it on already, go into your audio settings and turn on subtitles. This will come in very handy for the rest of this easter egg. Now that you have that done, it's time to move on and start looking for Sawyer, McCain, and Purnell's access codes hidden around the map. One will be located in the APD interrogation room, either downstairs on this desk or upstairs on a paper on the desk. Write it down along with the name on top of the paper. Next one will be located right below the APD controls room, on a desk with a stack of papers covering it. All you have to do is shoot the stack of papers and it will reveal the codes. Then make your way to solitary and pick up the key from the key rack. You will need that for the third code which is located in the yellow house A in the upstairs desk. Press the action button on the lock in the desk and the desk will pop open revealing the third and final code. Once you have all three codes, return to the operations house and your starting code will be located on this piece of paper left of the Rushmore computer, or as I like to call him, sexy robot voice. Now, end the round to wake up Rushmore. Once he's done talking, enter the red starting code you found to the left of the machine first. It usually is 7626, but just check to be sure. Then he'll prompt you to enter Sawyer's code, then McCain's code, then Purnell's code. You will have one minute to enter each code, so be quick about it and make sure your teammates are holding zombies. After entering the codes in the correct order, he will tell you that Project Toy Soldier is now accessible. This will unlock the ADAM unit located in the storage area of the map, aka the new G.I. Joe Civil Protector, which will come into play later on in the egg. Okay, cool. You're doing great so far. Now you're on to step two. Head down into the bunker and locate the TV which has static on the screen and making noise. You need to melee a zombie with the galvan knuckles which can be found upstairs inside the bus for it to turn on. Once it turns on, it will start telling you a sequence of codes starting with letters. Write them all down in the order it tells you. Don't worry if you miss it, you can always press the action button on the TV again to hear and see the codes. This is where your subtitles come in very handy. Each code will start with a letter and then four numbers. 
The numbers in the codes represent times that you have to enter into clocks in each of the houses, but it will only give you five. Now, the letters in front of the codes represent which houses you have to go to in which order. Each house has a mailbox in front of it with a letter on it, and the codes tell you what order to go to what house and set the clocks. So for example, in this game, it gave me houses A, F, E, C, and D, and no code for house B. So I put in all the times into the clocks in the order of houses that I got them, starting with house A, F, E, C, and then D. Then I go back to the house that I didn't get a code for, which in this case was the B house, and press the action button on the clock. The clock will spin out and reset itself. Now write down what time that clock says, and then go enter it into Rushmore. In this game, my last clock's time was 115, so I entered into Rushmore 0115, and then you're on to the next step. He will talk and say he still doesn't trust you and you have to prove yourself through the five core values. Now interact with sexy robot voice to start up the next step. He will tell you a strange crawler is roaming the grounds. Now run around the map and locate a red crawler and escort him to the transfusion house. Be careful not to kill him or you'll have to skip the round and try again. After you escorted him, go back to Rushmore and start the next step. Now he'll tell you that there is an intruder on the grounds who has stolen property. What you want to do now is go activate the ADAM unit, aka G.I. Joe, and bring him to the stairway of the bunker near the exit of the diner and melee the gray steel door. You will hear a familiar voice that goes by the name of Marlton from BO2 inside the door. Once you melee the door, he's going to pee himself when he hears the ADAM unit is in the AO. Then he will open the door and give you back the stolen canister of 115, then run and hide again. Now, take the canister back to the transfusion house and place it on the shelf. Now you're on to core value number three. Head back to Rushmore and interact with him to start the next task. Now what you need to do is locate the spare server on the map, which is located in the same house as the power switch. You will also need to place the teleporter pads in these two areas, one in the powerhouse and one down the street right in this location. Then walk up to the server and press the action button. Rushmore will talk to you and tell you that you need to cool it down. Do this by getting an electric crawler to shoot his electric ball at the server. When he shoots, just simply step out of the way and let the charge hit the server. The server will then open. Then hold the action button on the server and quickly enter the teleporter. Once you arrive down the street, make a right and head directly into the operations room and place the server in the indicated location. If you fail, don't worry, just go back and try again. You must be quick with this step. You have unlimited tries, so don't worry. Once you put the server in its place, Sexy Robot Voice will now tell you you need three access codes. Wow, what a surprise. So, now you need to go get a turned gun and find three paintings with green mist on them. Two are located in the bunker, one in the beds area, and one in the lounge area, and the other one is located upstairs in the greenhouse. You need to shoot a zombie and have a turned zombie knock the painting off the wall to reveal the code that is behind it on the wall. Whichever one you start with is the order that you enter the codes. So for example, if you start in the beds, then go to lounge, and then go to greenhouse, that's the order that you enter the code. So keep track of one, two, and three. Once you have all three codes, enter them into Rushmore in the order that you got them, and you're ready for the next step. Okay, once that's done, you're almost finished. Go back to sexy robot voice and interact with him again. But here comes the fun part. This is the step that most people just, I guess, expect you to figure out on your own and have gotten wrong in their guides and misled a few of their followers. So here in this step, you interact with Rushmore and he starts going on about this crazy quest. And then the power goes out. He tells you quickly, forget all that. Turn the power back on. Now you have to go turn the power back on. But it's not just as simple as hitting the switch. You have to go down to the bunker and solve a puzzle with power boxes downstairs in the bunker. 
there will be six power boxes with switches and lights on them. Now, just to make this super easy, so you don't have to run around flipping switches, driving yourself crazy, we figured out that all you need to do is locate diner, beds, and generator switches, and make sure the switches are turned up. Then locate the storage, solitary, and lounge switches, and make sure those switches are down. If it's in the wrong position, just hold the action button on it and change it. This should work no problem. And you're welcome. Then go back, turn on the main power switch, and once again, go back to sexy robot voice and interact with him again to start the fifth and final challenge. Now, this challenge is pretty simple and it's split into three parts. It's gonna be three lockdowns. Now what you have to do is look around the map for newly spawned mannequins around the map. You won't be able to shoot their heads off and there will only be three. You wanna find the one that's sparking blue and have your whole team go to that location and start the lockdown by holding the action button on the mannequin. It will last around one minute. When it's finished, the mannequin will explode, leaving behind a piece of a body. Pick it up and find the next mannequin that's sparking. Repeat the process and pick up the piece. Then find the third and final mannequin and complete that lockdown. Pick up the head and then go place it on the dummy in the chair in the APD interrogation room. Now you will hear some quotes and then sexy robot voice is going to tell you to locate his secret project for the final step. Once he finishes talking, there'll be a glowing blue orb somewhere in the map hiding behind a zombie spawn window. You need to get close to see it, so be thorough when checking locations. He does not spawn in the same place every game. After locating it, the escort will automatically start. Now you want to stay close to the orb, but not too close. You can stay a good distance, but keep escorting it. If you're not close to it, it'll stop moving. Escort it until it reaches its final destination back in the mannequin in the APD interrogation room. Be careful not to go too far from the orb during the escort, or you will have to pass around and try again. Once you successfully escorted the orb, you're nearly done. Head back to operations, interact with sexy robot voice one last time, and he will now tell you you have access to the APD. Now it's time for a soul box boss battle. Have your whole team get ready with their ray guns and pack-a-punch weapons and head down to the APD controls room. Head to the center console and have all the players in your game there to start the boss battle. Now, there is two phases to this boss battle. First, you will face a horde of mannequin robots. Kill enough robots to fill the last soul chamber on the APD. Then get ready for a show. Once it's finished, the APD will open up, releasing Avogadro. There will be some dialogue, and then a nuke will hit the town. Now it will tell you to fill up the four backup generators located in the diner, lounge, beds, and storage areas. Proceed to these locations in any order and find the soul tanks. Walk up to the tank and hit the action button to start the process. Now be quick when you're killing mannequins and filling these up. If you don't put a soul in it every 10 seconds or so, the container will shut down and go into a cool down process. Then you'll have to wait to restart it. So just make sure you and your team are working together using specialists and everything in your arsenal to fill these up quick once you start them. You will also get a max ammo after filling each location. So if you have the monkeys, use them. You'll get them back. Now. After you finish filling all four backup containers in the four locations, return to the APD controls room for the final phase. Once you're in the APD controls room, Avogadro will spawn back in and have your team kill while shooting him to push him around like a feather. Every shot pushes him back. It doesn't matter whether you have a ray gun or a regular packed gun. Just shoot him back to the APD entrance door and he will get sucked right in. Once that's finished, return to the center console and initiate the transfer process. Avogadro will then be teleported off the map. Then the APD will open, revealing the precious elemental shard. Once you pick it up, 
the cutscene will play and your mind will be blown. Boom, all finished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're all having fun on this brand new map. Anyway, I'm SetsBK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming and my gun go pew pew. I'm out. Peace. Happy, Nikolai? Everything playing out as the Cronorium predicted. We have what we came for. The Elemental Shard. Hooray for us! No. It's too late! Maxis? Speak of Dr. Monty. What's happening, Nikolai? You are too late. Oh, shit. That's all we fucking need. Hello, Samantha. Who is the boy? Uh, that would be us. Oh my god! The great war. Then, we're going back to the house to kill him! And burn it all to the ground! Agartha, the Ether, the Infinite. I have chills right now. Oh my god!